Okay, guys, we got a big one. We have a huge collection that is sitting right here, but it did not start here in Conway, Arkansas. This guy right there traveled across the U.S. to a little state called Iowa to get this stuff. So stick around. We're going to go through all this stuff. But first, let's check out his adventure to get the stuff. Man, I'll tell you, Rick can find a lot of games anywhere, even in a place like this. Today, we're on a mission for Rick to pick up a lot of games from Knoxville, Iowa. Come along for the ride. So we've made it to Knoxville, Iowa, here with Dan. It's so good to meet you. So you have you, a mate. fantastic home and an awesome game room. I'd love to hear a little bit of the story about when you started collecting and kind of how all of this came to be. I started collecting ever since I was a kid. Uh, my first system that I had growing up was an N64 that I got for Christmas. But before that, my sister had an NES that we used to play. So that's kind of where it started. As you progress, get a little older, a, li a little bit more cash in hand, what's the first thing that you started going after after that? Because I'm seeing loads of like he's got box systems up here you've got a virtual boy that's just incredible like when did you get your hand on some more uh, rare pieces the virtual boy my friend in middle school had one gotta try it mm -hmm. played for about 10 minutes you know the red and my head hurt and like oh it's awful but it's fun at the same Tell time me. and so ever since that I thought, that's a neat oddity i wanted to add it to my collection and I got the the box. I met somebody up in Des Moines and I gave him like 40 bucks for the box. I'll make that deal. And I already had the Virtual Boy that I got on like a Facebook marketplace find for next to nothing. And I'm like, sweet. That's a good find. Yeah. Cause that's, that's really, really good. Talk to us a little bit about like how you got to find Rick. Did you just find him on YouTube? It, yeah. How did I you guys get connected? On a bus trip, on a sports trip, and I'm over in Pella, I'm bored and I'm just trolling through YouTube. Just look, look. And Rick popped up because I like retro stuff and I was starting to watch. Yeah. And this is probably back when he had like 6,000 followers. Yeah, early and, days. Yeah, early days. I'm like, hey, this guy likes the same stuff that I like. And he was like opening things, reviewing things, talking about games. I'm like, this is like all my childhood. So then I'm like on a bus trip for like binge watching for the next four <laughs> hours. Yeah. yeah. Scrolling through all this stuff. I'm like, this guy gets me. So we're loading up the van and getting everything going here, just kind of trying to wrap everything up. And Dan's like, hey, I got a couple other things in the garage. You want to check them out? And I'm like, sure. So he opens up the door and this bad boy pops out. Dan, what on earth are we looking at here? Uh, this is my Facebook Marketplace find. Uh, it's a 1980 Lincoln Town cart. We can drive them in town here, legal, on the street. Really? As long as you stay off Highway 14, you can cruise cool. around. Yeah. It's all electric, and I said, I found a golf cart. I love it, I want it. She's like, I guess, you can have it. That is so cool. The things you find in just people's garages. Well, that'll about do it. I think we're all loaded up and ready to head back to Arkansas. Dan, thank you so much. Oh, I thank you it greatly. Was, it was an absolute pleasure meeting you, and we are so excited to just enjoy what all of this will mean to retro rick's game point so thank you so much yeah thank you rick i'm coming home rick it's christmas your gift is here out of christmas time how about yours dude you're wearing one. i am loving my gift does it fit it does it feels so good i was gonna say vintage clothes the way they feel too they're oh, so soft it's so nice buttery i mean get in there feel that <laughs> All right. I mean, I I can tell it's already clothing. Yes. I, I'm sorry. I'm this. I'm this. I mean, way. what do you get for like retro guys, Rick? Don't That's a really difficult question <laughs> to answer. <laughs> and don't forget, we are going to go through the stuff. <laughs> I realized we never even said that, did we? Here we go. We'll get. There. Here we go. What am I looking at? What are we? Dang, dude. Love it. For those that don't know. Rick is a big Golden State Warriors fan. Huge. And he rarely wears any of their vintage clothes. So okay. we're gonna rectify that situation with a single stitch Golden State Warriors tee. Look at us in our sports tees, I'm bro. telling you, man. Dude, that is awesome. I love it. Look at this. Yeah. It still has the vintage sticker, the Logo 7 vintage sticker on it. Dude, I love it. it, it, it it's perfect size, too, I can tell. Yes, yes. Christmas! Christmas is great! All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's, let's go. go, let's go, let's, let's go. Let's go, let's go, here we go. It's We're a mountain. Start. 
We're gonna start, I guess we could probably start with some of the box stuff. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna say, I do this a lot, is I will upgrade some of my stuff. Like I have a Genesis Model 1 box. This one, it, it just, I mean, you were there with him for hours. Yeah, I was. What, does he seem to be pretty meticulous? He was very meticulous. Everything just kind of had its own little spot. Good night. So with that, if any of this stuff is an upgrade for mine, I will literally just trade mine out for my Genesis One box and I'll try to upgrade some of my stuff. That's the beauty of being a store owner. Sick Cooper does it all the time and I'm like, that's a good, that's a good idea. So we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we got a Wii U. So this is the um, original. Y'all tell me down below. Anytime I say something dumb, y'all please correct me. If I'm not mistaken, the original Wii U was only eight gig and it was the white variant of that. So I don't have that, but I'm not really like, really needing to have that. Next up is a N64. I've always loved the N64 box. It pops and I love that it is the Fun machine. I want the fun machine console, Dad. That's what I want for Christmas. Oh, it screams Star fun. Star Fox, Banjo, uh, Diddy Kong. My first game. Did you have a 64 growing up? No, just friends. Man. You did it? Okay, my first N64. So I wanted an N64 so bad for Christmas. Hey, look, it's, it's work. this works since it's Christmas time. And I wanted it so bad, and of course I wanted Mario 64, but by the time my parents got me a 64, Mario 64 was sold out. Oh, so no. I had to wait like a month before I got Mario 64. I got Wave Race uh, at Christmas, oh, which is great. I yeah, love it. that's still a good game. I love it. All right, we got a lot, guys. We got a lot. We have an Atari. The only time I take Ataris typically are if they are CIB. I don't take them loose out of the box. Um, look at that. I don't know what's going on, but there is a brawl about to go down in either... The golf course <laughs> looks like they're wearing their golf clothes or on the Atari. Maybe Atari Golf. Maybe that's what they're doing. Yeah. Action set. Always good to have action sets. We actually sell these very well in the store. They go really, really quick. I don't even know if we have one right now. Also, this picture has always cracked me up. I'm like, what angle is that kid playing at? Why is he? There's a lot of things wrong with this. Why? Why is he playing when it's only one player right now? He can't possibly see. That's on an OLED screen. There's a lot of lying, deception going on. Oh, I do that with my brother. I would unplug his controller and just hand him one and he, let him think that he was playing. So I don't know, man. I mean, he's There's a little old to get that some kind of treatment, but something fishy about this picture. I don't like it. Don't like it one bit. Moving on to the deluxe set, guys. I don't know, man. I think this might look better than mine. It's super clean. What's crazy is right now in store, we have three of these. We have three deluxe sets. And these things are not cheap right now. I think they're going north of 800 to 1,000. 800 to 1,000 bucks. Editor Mike will put up some sold listings, but it's all there. It's intact. It's got the handle. And I can go to my Christmas party that I'm about to go to tonight and just walk, just walk in and be like, hey guys, I brought the fun. I brought the festivities. Who wants to play a little Rob the Robot deluxe set? Actually, I'm gonna go right now. See you guys. We bought his whole, basically whole collection. Yes. Like even Getting stuff that it. was just kind of like all over. He was like, I have to own a box. Yep. Take it, take it. Yep. That him, that him? Yes, that's all Action him. set, GameCube, GameCube. Wow. There it is. Ooh, the track track ball. ball. Don't know if I've seen this box before. Again, not a big Atari guy, but wow. Like, it doesn't seem like that long ago. But at the same time, like that's primitive. You're like, what in the world? The different, the that different looks like life, he's playing man. That at the office. Okay, so this is the power set that I am drooling over. Let's see if you can get the gloss on this. Yeah, look at that shine. Oh, mama mia, mama mia. There's no way mine looks this good. I say that, but there's been a couple times where I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta switch this out, and they're, they're about the same. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, this family is so excited. Sometimes I want to go back in time and have an 80s house. So good. All right, here is an Atari. Oh my. 5200. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Those graphics are real. 
What? Oh man, so good. Atari 5200, I don't care about this. This will definitely be sold. And then we have uh, another, so is there Virtual Boy here? Cause this is a yes. box. Yes, it is here. It's packed away safely in the okay. box. Okay. Was there a reason why y'all did that? You kind of had a display out. Oh, okay. So I will say one thing I've yet to have is a really, really clean Virtual Boy. Still don't have a really clean one. This one yeah, is this about one's like still mine. Pretty rough. Yeah, I mean it's it's intact, but it's not like minty by any means. Okay, so that hey. is the consoles. It's Adam. What y'all doing? How are you? Like, you not fly? A bit. <laughs> you can fly? That one can fly? Okay, a couple other things. Just so you guys know, one of the things I hate the most in my life are steering wheels. Not like car steering wheels, regular ones. Those are great for cars to drive. These, the video game ones, Michael, they yeah. don't sell. I think we've had three of them. And every time we've had them for like four or five months, I'm like, if someone even looks at it, I'm like, 60% off today. <laughs> and then uh, they're like, I guess, just please. So steering wheels, eh, they're cool, but they're not really for me. What is this thing down here? Commodore what? 128D. I Personal computer. I have no idea. I don't do Commodore stuff either. Born 87, just, just before my time. But this right here is sick, dude. I have never seen this storage container. So I've seen these a ton, like different variants. They basically house your NES and your games and everything. This is like the Cadillac, bro. Look at this thing. So you, I think, I'm assuming you put your NES right here, there, and then you pull this to get to your games and all your stuff and the coolest part about this i have never seen this uh oh that's cool too we got a game shark something or other is that for i don't know we got a ton of stuff so guys let's jump into the games now there's a ton 